snow's been falling almost every day here in Idaho. We're at the climb office right now, getting all these things loaded up, the sleds, the snow bikes, snow bike kits in the trailer to build. That's where we're heading right now. We're getting all this stuff loaded up. We got two vehicles, three trailers. It's probably the most uh, unconventional <laughs> sled hauler setup you've ever seen in your life. But anyways, our first stop on this little adventure is going to Brock Butters' shop in Utah to build two snow bikes. So here we go, let's get to it. nine degrees out that's cool here we go we got a small black trailer behind me and the old f-150 we got toga towing the ram with another trailer so my speedometer is not correct i'm probably going 65. quick fun fact about this truck uh this is my first vehicle I bought it for 1400 bucks uh, when I was 22 years old, and so far it's still working. But anyways, uh, this trailer's kind of falling apart, so we want to make sure these bearings aren't getting too hot. It is warm, but it's fine, so that's cool. We're gonna need four-wheel drive to get into Brock's route. Picked this up yesterday, brought it down last night. Two timber sleds to build in there. What up, man? It's bad boy Brock. Bad boy. What is going on? Why it's so organized? It's, I knew you were coming. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <laughs> glad you guys are here. Um, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna get some sweet bikes, and we already have better snow than we had last year. So, let's do it. We got one night because tomorrow we're riding. <laughs> one so night. One night we'll be done. To build two and a half bikes. Yes. And yeah. sleep and eat. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so here's what we got going on. We got Vanessa's bike here. That's one 450. Tolga's bike here, another 450, and the Brock Star Shop. So two bike builds, and I got to fix a few things on the climb snow bike. And that's pretty much it, so let's get it rolling. Good girl, bring me the tools. Good girl, drop it, drop it. Oh, that's mine now. I don't want to be so close to it when I light it, though. Just close your eyes. This car for a snow bike kit. Yeah. A used Plus two grand. I clapped out. Sorry, Chase. <laughs> clapped, a two year old clapped out snow bike kit plus $2,000. Thank you. I go pick the kids up from school. Every single kid is like this. So are their moms. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Every time I drive this car, if I'm in a, even if I'm not in a bad mood, if I'm in a good mood, it makes it better. It just, it just does.
You need to go and use your backhoe and be a good service. Do, good, do some good service today. Brock, let's go. They didn't tell me anything. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> There's a semi stuck like across the road. <laughs> like, yeah, he's not getting out. He's buried. So Brock's, Brock's got to get the backhoe and his <laughs> snow bike bill is turning into a recovery mission. <laughs> Man, how many vehicles are we going to have to rescue tonight? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go pull this dude out. All right, we're on a rescue mission just outside the gravel pit over here. I think it's a metal shop that's our neighbors. Apparently, we got a semi that is stuck in the snow. Since we have a backhoe and some strong, able bodies to rig it up, I think we're going to go save and out of the snow. Let's do it, boys. I might get stuck again, let's see. Bad boy Brock saved the day. <laughs> yeah. These dudes were up till 3 o'clock in the morning last night. What, 3.30? 3.30. These guys were up till 3.30 last night. Finishing Tolga's snow bike. Right here, had a quick shakedown run today. Look at that thing. It's like a science experiment every time you build one of these things because you never know exactly how it's all gonna work. You're trying to take something that works uh, for like a 75 degree summer day on a motocross track and trying to make it work in powdery snow when it's like 10 degrees outside. So there's a lot of stuff to do on it and that's what we're here for in the Rockstar shop. We got one bike built last night. The climb bike kind of freshened up and this is the last bike we're doing. So here we go. Oh. Got personality, each one. Different. Frankenstein. Frankenstein, yes. Sawzalls, grinders, big hammers. Yeah, no fine tuning with 10 cc's of oil, you know, difference in two clickers. We're, we got the sledgehammers and the farm equipment here. Welcome to the snowmobile world. Almost there. Plastics, graphics, and we're uh, good. Well, I, um, looks like. I won't be making it to Colorado this year. Um, we were all lined up to go down and do some snow biking, finish out the season. And uh, like many, many of us, you know, we get hurt during the season. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't doing anything cool. It was right here. Um, I was stomping down the garbage and we pulled the can out got rocks behind us I was gonna hit my head I started to fall put my arm out to catch myself and I ripped my shoulder apart I ripped the upper pec and rotator cuff so um, had to have surgery so my season's pretty much over uh, at this point but we'll be back stronger for next year um, big thanks to climb for coming out and 
getting bikes ready and uh, you know we had a good season had a good time on the on the backcountry team ride but unfortunately I got trashed by the garbage can so uh, let that be a warning to all of y'all don't stand in the garbage <laughs>